Welcome back to another episode of Ball and Whiff, guys. Thank you for joining us today. Today we will be talking about some players who are turning down their player options and becoming free agents this season. Uh, before we get started today, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more basketball or sport news, highlights, and other crazy sports uh, stories as well. Um, so let's start off with it today with Kyle Kuzma, uh, another player from my Wizards team that might uh, go walk away. Um, they traded Bill. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do with Porzingis. Um, and Kyle Kuzma, who was a bright uh, name this season for the team, uh, is, you know, debating about walking away, which, you know, I wouldn't blame him. $13 million is pretty cool, but he potentially could even get more on the market. He's still young, 27 years old. I can see him, uh, you know, joining join the Atlanta Hawks or, you know, another team with that caliber, like let's say that needs a power forward that's in there. Um, there's a couple other teams that could use him. I've seen someone talking about the Pacers, but uh, I just don't see him, you know, doing well with um, Washington staying there over an uh, extended period of time when, uh, you know, he's a – He's almost a celebrity with his fashion almost as well. He can go to another team and just, you know, he wants to go probably to a high studded name team. But um, either way, though, I know he wants to ball Spencer Dinwiddie and prove him wrong and who is the better mid player, you know. Uh, they've been going at it. They had a little Twitter rant. Um, but let's move on to the next player, Draymond Greens, um, which is pretty shocking to me. In a way, uh, that's a lot of money, $27.5 million player option. Uh, and I feel like he declined it, declining it himself. Uh, he had a little bit of turmoil uh, beginning of last season with the Jordan Poole incident. Um, and then, you know, just building that team chemistry back up. And it seems like he's the hothead within the team, and it's better for him to – he took that step back from, you know, uh, I guess asserting himself as that player coach role he did. And uh, I think he reasserted himself when it was playoff time and when they really needed him as that veteran voice in the locker room. Um, but still a hothead and getting those technical fouls would, you know, ultimately lead you to a game suspension or just doing some, um, you know, flopping that's so outrageous. It, you know, it's just controversial that you get suspended. Like, you, you just play basketball. Don't argue with the ref, um, but do your thing. And I think reports were just talking about Draymond Green actually – uh, was out being uh, seen with LeBron James having lunch. Uh, I can see Draymond Green, uh, you know, wanting to play with LeBron, and he's not going to go to the Washington Wizards, I'll tell you that. Draymond is going to go compete for another championship. He's going to want to prove to himself that he can beat the Warriors and that uh, the Warriors are nothing without him. He wants to validate that, I'm pretty sure. And um, Case may be, I you know. Uh, they need a player like that, that that over that third player, that big guy that can move the ball like Draymond and play that defense intensity. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. I don't know what other teams are uh in search for him right now, um, but I definitely think he will have a championship run, contendership. Um, who knows? Lakers, uh, somebody else. Uh, just definitely a um championship contender team though and last but not least let's hop on to bruce brown we all just seen the crazy uh parade uh coach was going off he was pretty lit and he did say bruce brown wasn't going anywhere but now it says the Denver nuggets and brown uh come to an agreement um of declining that player option um i don't know if it's one-sided or more so but bruce brown definitely will get some looks uh he averaged at least 10 points or so during the finals or the playoff um tenure. Um he he did pretty good buckets. He was pretty good on the nets. He came by and got his uh, you know, fifteen minutes of fame. But I think he will uh I would, you know, like to see him on the Washington Wizards or something like that. But um I think the Denver Nuggets should keep him in uh hopes of returning for another championship. He was a pivotal piece, uh, because uh he did it off the bench. If Aaron Gordon or Porter Jr. doesn't do it, who will? Um and then they I think they like the other guy, uh, Braun. I forgot his first name, but the rookie. Um, so just keep that in mind, guys. But these three players are the players that are surprisingly with the player options. Um, stay tuned for more videos coming out. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next video. Ball and whiff.